what's this? Okay, so here's the MP3 player, and these guys go for, I think, about $1.50, $2 maybe, uh, on eBay. Prices vary, obviously, depending on construction, like whether it's made of metal or just plastic. But they're all basically very similar, um, basically single board. Um, everything's integrated kind of into an epoxy blob, so to speak, like this. And, um, yeah, you can see they're pretty um, sparse in terms of component counts. And they're very simple, and as soon as you apply power um, and turn on the power switch, it'll turn on. So basically, it just has uh, five clicky buttons for uh, controlling it. it. has a slider on-off switch, of which I've actually just uh, desoldered. And um, you can see I just soldered a piece of wire right in there um, just to keep it permanently on so that as soon as I apply power to the battery contacts, it'll uh, start start playing whatever's on the memory card. I only put a single track on here, so it always starts at the beginning. There's no memory. So um, as soon as it's power on, it just plays that single track. And it actually loops. Um, so if I cut power in between, then it'll only play once, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do with the Arduino. There's a USB port, and I believe if you plug it in, it shows up as a... Uh, it, it'll show you the, the memory card contents in uh, on your computer. So you can actually use this to transfer music as well. Uh, via the USB port, and as I said, there's a micro SD card slot there. And so that is all, and I've soldered um, to the headphone output to one of the channels, I've soldered a speaker, and um, I've turned the volume up all the way, um, because I'd prefer not to use an amplifier, though it is, you know, if you wanted to, you could add an amplifier and a much bigger speaker. But I'm um, just going to show you this guy working, it's just wired directly to the battery context, to a uh, USB charger, so 5 volts is going in, let's uh, see if it works. So yeah, as you can hear, it's um, not that loud, but it's, it's definitely loud enough to be heard in a quiet room. I could definitely put an amplifier, so let's, um, now that we know that these uh, modifications to the board actually work, let's uh, wire up the Arduino and uh, see how to get the uh, motion sensor working on that. Okay, I've written this um, very simple test example code, and basically I used a blink example, I modified it, and I added an analog input and uh, the serial port, so it takes a reading, it um, writes it to the serial port, and then it just blinks the LED for no reason at all. Anyway, here you can see it's running using the uh, serial plotter command, um, so when I move it up and down, you can see it creates wiggles. Um, this is using the Z-axis input on this uh, three-axis accelerometer chip, and this guy is an Adafruit one. It's an analog accelerometer. You can get um, different brand ones. They have uh, knockoff ones on eBay, so you can get pretty much whatever you want, and since it's just an analog signal, you can just read it using anything, pretty much. Uh, so here you can see when I drop it, um, you can kind of see it goes up and down, when I raise it real quick, you'll see it spikes up and then kind of levels off after a little while. And so you can actually use this to detect um, when it's raised above your head. Um, so we're just going to do a little quick test. So if I drop it real quick, it goes down and then up. And if I raise it real quick, it goes up and then down so that you can determine whether it's uh, being... Uh, raised high above your head or drop down low and you can do different things. So I'm going to have it when it's raised above my head, it's going to play that uh, item found uh, jingle basically. And we're going to do that by uh, taking some careful measurements of um, what values um, it, it surpasses. I'm going to guess that it looked like um, at a reasonable velocity, it went well above 600. So I'm going to set that as my trigger point. So when it goes above 600, I'll, I'll try to get this at a finer gradation um, so I can tell what uh, the high and the low trigger points should be to set to watch my code. So anyway, yeah, this is pretty cool. So let me uh, play around with this a little more and we'll see what we can get working. Yep, so here's the Arduino sketch and we'll go through it quickly. Um, I'm basically using the uh, A0 as the analog input for the accelerometer. Um, I have a pin called MP3 trigger, which is D2, and that's to turn on the MP3 player. I have a, uh, a value called value, which holds the analog reading uh, value that it's measured. 
I have two triggers, a high trigger and a low trigger. And that's to measure um, when you raise it above your head, it goes positive and then it goes negative, like a sine wave, and then it flattens out. Um, when you lower it, uh, it'll actually go negative and then positive. So depending on the, the sequence, whether it goes high or low first, you can determine whether it's being raised or lowered. And I'm actually using that in the algorithm to determine um, if it's being raised. And I have uh, a high flag and count. I think I'm using those. I, I, I've made a few changes to the software to try to change the sensitivity. Um, I'm basically just setting up serial and the output inputs and outputs. And um, yeah, here I'm taking a measurement of the analog pin, the accelerometer value, and I'm printing it out over serial so I can see it. And then here I'm seeing if that value, measured value, is higher than a, a trigger threshold, it'll set the a flag high to let the rest of the code know that it was being raised. Um, however, if the value is less than the low trigger, the, the negative portion of the sine wave, then it'll um, basically start a counter. And I, I do this to, to prevent it from accidentally tripping while it's you know, if it's being jostled or while it's being lowered so it doesn't accident, accidentally give you a false positive. And so I increment a count every time that happens where it drops. And so if that count is greater than some value, I found this out experimentally, um, then I add a little bit of a delay so it doesn't give me a false trigger within three seconds. So it allows it to settle down. And so this would generally happen if you're bouncing it up and down, it might give you a, a false positive um, so this will prevent that, and it resets the counter. Um, anyway, other than that, then all we have to do then is if the high flag was triggered, meaning it was raised above your head, or well, raised up in general, um, it resets that flag, it resets the count, and then it sets the output and the MP3, um, it turns on the MP3 player, and then it waits for five seconds, and then it turns them both off, and then it repeats this over and over. Now the main important things in this code to get it to work are um, setting the sensitivity um, of this counter um, kind of overflow, uh, setting the delay time periods for the delays, as well as setting the trigger appropriately. And so by running this code and printing out the value here, I'm able to see that uh, nominally, while well, it's just sitting there on the table not being moved, it's about 500. Um, that's the, the binary value that's outputted by the, the Arduino from the, the accelerometer sensor. And I figure that once it goes about above about 520, um, that's you raising it in heights. It's accelerating in the positive direction. So it's 20 more than the nominal. And that's my high trigger. And the low trigger I set to 450. And uh, by playing with these numbers, by increasing the high trigger, you're actually able to make it less sensitive. So 520 actually from my testing might be a little bit too low. It kept getting false positives where just me um, walking with it in my hand would accidentally trigger it. So I might want to increase this guy a little bit. And um, the low trigger is when, you know, you bring it back down. Um, you know, there'll be once it reaches the minimum height, it'll actually oscillate a little bit about that point um, and I just set that experimentally to you know 450 and that value seemed to work just fine so yeah if you guys are interested I'll have all this code available and um, let's see the circuit now okay so here's the final hardware it's just the uh, Arduino the accelerometer the mp3 player with an SD card I did solder the speaker on and it's loud enough uh, kind of for a small device, but I wanted to give it more impact in the video, so I actually hooked up to the original headphone jack uh, to this uh, external speaker here so that it would be plenty loud enough. And as you can see, everything is wired off of a uh, USB battery bank. So yeah, everything works. Um, I'll provide the software. As for you know the wiring and all, you can kind of figure it out here. Um, I have just one input. I'm using the Z output from the accelerometer into A0, which is an analog input. And um, I'm using D2 in order to switch the MP3 player on and off. And that's just, just through a uh, small signal NPN transistor. You could use a 3904 or 4401 or a, a, 
uh, two, 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 two. Pretty much anything will work in this case. It's not uh, very critical. And as for what's on this memory card, you can just find audio clips from anywhere. As long as they're MP3, you can just stick it on the card, uh, put it in the player, and it'll play it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, fun, quick little video. All in all, this only took me probably not even, probably not even an hour, less than an hour, more than half an hour though, uh, in order to start and start to finish on this little project. I thought this would be neat. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or any really cool ideas, this is pretty much, um, this could be used for so many different types of projects where you just want to add sound quickly and cheaply. As I said, this MP3 player was, I think, like 99 cents or $1.50. These are super cheap. Um, they're not great, but they work. And for a project like this, sound quality isn't, you know, it doesn't need to be hi-fi or anything like that. So this will definitely do just enough uh, for you to actually hear what's going on. The accelerometer, you can get these guys for a couple dollars, these complete modules where it's all wired and you just solder a header on. And the Arduino clones are like two or three dollars nowadays. So yeah, everything in this project, this entire project could be made for less than ten dollars easy. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas, um, you could stick this in, you know, props, um, pretty much anything, add a little spice, add a little sound into your project. So yeah, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.